Gray and I have a lot of curtains to hang in the duplex. We've got, I think, 12 total. So I decided to make it faster by making a template for myself. This is actually a piece of cardboard that came in the curtain panel container. So it was free. Thanks, Ikea. Yeah, thanks, Ikea. <laughs> um, so what we have figured out is how far off of the window molding we want um, the bracket for the curtain rod to hang and how far from the ceiling down we want it to hang. We have found in a room like this, this has nine foot ceilings, where the curtain rod is gonna be closer to the ceiling than it is to the actual window trim itself, is that we wanna keep it level to the ceiling. Even if the ceiling is not perfectly level, but your eye is going to want the curtain rod to sort of follow that line. So we're gonna use the top, like this corner, as our guide, not the top of the window molding. But if you're hanging it close to your window molding, you might wanna use the top of your window. It's up to you, figure out what looks best. But what we determined is that we want all of our curtain rod brackets to be 10 and a half inches off of the window molding and three inches down from the ceiling. So I made this, again, this little template. I just used a ruler to mark um, two sides so I can do both this side and the other side using the same template. I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna basically line up the edge of the cardboard with the edge of my molding, push it up to the ceiling, and then with my little level, because I, I want the bracket itself to be level, I'm gonna adjust, oh look, that is level. But if I needed to like tweak this, you know, slightly up or down to make sure that this line was level up and down, I would. And then my next step would be drilling my hole, but I don't have my drill in my hand. Hold on. Trusty assistant will hand you the drill. I thought I was so prepared. <laughs> you Ow. need more hands than Ow. you think. It's like it's stabbed with it. Okay, let me just double check this one last time. What I've already done also on my template, in addition to marking my 10 and a half inches over and three inches down, is I used uh, a bracket to poke the holes where the screws have to go. So there's a hole here. Um, that three inches I should have mentioned is three inches for the top screw of the bracket. That's what I determined. And then this is just one I poked based on holding the bracket up to it. But now that that's there, I can go ahead and just use a tiny drill bit to make a little pilot hole. It doesn't have to be big, just enough to see it. You could also just mark with a pen if you wanted. But there I've got my two holes marked so I can come back later, drill a larger hole, put my anchor in, all that stuff. You can watch me go to the other side. Sure. Okay. Come along to the other side with me, everyone. I'm standing on a chair, so I'm stationary for this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just doing the same thing here, lining up the edge of my template by eye to the edge of this. If it's off a smidge, it's not a big deal. No one's going to notice. I've got to push flush the ceiling. I'm going to double check that this line is vertical. It is. So now using the other side of the template, using the same little drill bit. Just make a quick pilot hole. And now I'm gonna go back and drill the larger holes, put the anchors in, screw the brackets on, clip the curtain. I can't even see the holes from over here. I might have to zoom. Oh, there they are. So there's still a bit more to do, but that at least saves a lot of time measuring, marking, getting up and down on the step ladder and all that stuff. Okay, Sherry wanted me to show you the next parts also. So I've switched the bit in my drill to a 3 16th drill bit to make the holes for the anchors. If I hit a stud, I wouldn't need it, but I don't have studs here, so I'm gonna use the anchors. I'm also using my template to catch the dust. It's a two-in-one tool. So one hole, just going right through the pilot holes I made using the template. Put this down. Now, you can see that this is a very amazing operation, including my slippers <laughs> and John's socks. Okay, I'm gonna switch out the drill bit for a screw head, or a Phillips screw head, but first gotta put my anchors in. These are the anchors that come with the um, curtains, or curtain rods that we bought. Very satisfying, I love doing anchors. And guys, are not strong and they're not holding things up it's because you drilled too big of a hole and they're banging around in there you want to have some force when you hammer them in and you want them to feel tight so they're being supported by the drywall and they're not just like loose and your whole rod yeah, falls out you don't want to be able to push them in with your finger it's generally what i find if you can do that it's probably too loose you need a bigger anchor so i've got my two anchors in this is the curtain rod bracket that 
comes with the screws that come in the package. So really I haven't had to buy anything for this because that cardboard template came for free. <laughs> I'm just putting those in there by hand just to hold them in place so I can grab my drill. That's on there. I'll go do the other side and then we can hang the rod in the curtain. We're not showing that, are we? I don't think so. It's you guys get the idea, right? But that's how we get them all to be exactly the same. If we use the template and hang them all that way, they'll be the same distance from the window on each side, the same distance from the ceiling on each side, and there's not a whole bunch of like measuring tapes and taping off and craziness. Like it's much easier to take the four minutes to make a template and then work your way around the house. Mm -hmm.